everyone welcome back to my channel where we talk all things beauty image and entrepreneurship welcome to another video thank you so much for tuning in as you can see by the title of the video we are talking about five i think i think five i think it's five reasons why i stopped offering massages in my business so if you're someone that's maybe contemplating to go into massage therapy or beauty therapy then this video is for you so maybe you can take like a few things into consideration before making the final decision um this is not to discourage anyone really because a lot of people ask me why i stopped offering massages in the business and one of the reasons is on my previous video which i will link in the description or i'll put like a card somewhere on the screen so that's one of like the I think it, it well it is a major reason but it's not like a major major reason why i left but it is major okay i don't know what i'm saying child but if you want to know why i stopped offering massages in the business then please keep on watching and don't forget to join the beautiful family if you haven't by clicking the red subscribe button and the bell next to it so that you get notified so that you get informed so that you get empowered and you make right choices in life let me be your best friend and let me be your guide <laughs> <laughs> please keep on watching right so as we get into the video some of you may or may not know that I am like <laughs> not that I am like but I do own my PD business I do have a PD business <clears throat> and I did like give a slight overview in the previous videos I've mentioned I will link it in the description so I'm gonna be looking down so that I don't ramble I have my phone I have my notes on my phone so i'm just gonna be reading off of that so the you know as massages are for me i like they are healing they are from like a form of healing a form of a spiritual connect like they're just bigger than that there's a lot of healing involved in massages you know now the first point i stopped offering massages was i wanted to work smart <laughs> like child I think one of my key, one of my drives in life or one of my pursuits in life is just to prove that hard work does not equal success. Like I'm always trying to prove that work smart instead of working hard. And for me that was like, I think that was like the first reason before the breach of security came in. But when I started, when I went solo in the business, I was like, child, I don't want to work hard like I want to work quite smart. I want to make quick money So I was like hey, massages. It's a lot of work and child. I am built for that like my mom knows this about me so my mom and I would always fight because <laughs> When I was young before the business We always fought about cleaning the house like I would find the quickest way of doing something Effectively like I believe in that like I always try finding a way of doing something effectively I mean doing something quickly but effectively so without compromising the quality without compromising the outcome of a thing so I'll always be in pursuit of that and my mom is quite the opposite and we would clash a lot because if I finished early if I finished cleaning the house maybe in 30 minutes she was like no it's wrong yeah better it's still dirty there's no way and yeah now for something to be effective and efficient is her taking the whole day cleaning a house and then to her it makes sense so we would clash a lot on that and shame i did not back down i was like child this is it and funny enough connecting the dots it makes sense that this is who i always have been you know <laughs> with the business person that i am right now so massage is meant a lot of work and i wasn't gonna do that so i was like child let me cut those off let me do lashes i know lashes child this is how much i make this is probably okay half of what i make in a, mas in a massage but if i have five clients a day for eyelashes and this is how much i spend this is how much time i spend on a client on eyelashes and nails and this is how much money i have no this is quick i just work on being efficient and being prompt being quick without compromising the quality of the work and this is how much money i make so that was the first reason why i quit massages the second reason was the emotional toll massages take on you child 
Okay, I should stop saying childish. I'm influenced. <laughs> The, the physical toll that the massages take on you, like, it's it's too much. You, and it's not only physical, it's also mental. Because you find that you are not only the client's massage therapist, but you're just their therapist as well. Because they share, like, you know, stuff with you. They have conversations with you. And imagine if you have, like, five clients a day doing massages and you're listening to like deep and dark <laughs> stories it's a lot well naturally obviously in in, in a salon set up we do have we do share like this umko see you know those those conversations that you have in the salon as ladies you know how it goes down but with massage it's kind of different because it takes a physical toll on you like you need to apply your hands this this you you know sometimes you can break like i know a lot of massage therapists that could not work um because like the mass the lifespan of a massage therapist is like three years according to research so because it's a lot of work it's, it's, it's strenuous you know the pressure other people want extensive pressure they want hard pressure and you need to be there be there be there imagine a massaging a rugby player imagine massaging Sia Kualisi obviously the pressure I'm, I'm like I'm like 154 height and my weight is like 59 kg 60 kgs and I'm massaging this big guy Sia Kualisi and another Sia Kualisi and another like five Sia Kualisi's in the, <laughs> in the day <laughs> Hard pressure so it was taking that physical toll on me and by the end of the day I could not even say hello like I, I could not even open my mouth because I'll be like out I'll be like so drained and then the emotional toll obviously like you know it's it's working with people is very hard because you carry so much of their the st like the things that they relate to you, the stories that they tell you, others are quite dark, others are quite dark things and you need to carry all those things with you and obviously there's client therapist confidentiality you know you can't just be like sit on this youtube channel and be like you need to know what to share, what not to share, well obviously everyone shared like there's no way that you don't share secrets with anyone but you're not gonna share everything and you kind of check who to share with so like that's one of the things also because i also have my not that i'm not saying people mustn't share with me but therapists also need therapy that kind of a situation and child i also be going through some mental health issues i am trying to be carrying everyone's issues in my head and in my heart and my ears are done <laughs> so that is the second reason why i stopped the third reason was time consumption as i explained in my first point that working hard working smart it, to be honest like it takes a lot of time and time moves so slow like 90 minutes will feel like five hours when you're doing because also other people want to add <laughs> i remember there was this one guy we were, we were offering a head massage but then it was a lot of us, so she just he just chose this one girl, and then this girl gave him he had a cheese cup, <laughs> he had a cheese cup, and this girl like was in the cheese cup, you know, massaging the cheese cup, babes. I think it was like thirty minutes. That guy kept on adding minutes, adding adding minutes, adding minutes to a point where this girl was like, ah, uh -uh. obviously when you add minutes, it's more you add more money. But this girl was like, ah, uh -uh. even though they say I want money, but ah. Uh, my hands are tired and I've been at this so it's kind of time consuming like personally I don't like doing one thing for a long time but okay, if you're someone that has a long concentration span then this is for you like if you know how to be applied I only my my concentration is only applied in things that I enjoy and things that I love so if I don't love something I'm gonna be like a child in I don't know in a candy shop I just get very distracted right? which is i think this one really was major i think this is the second major one after after or before the security breach 
which is the transfer of knots and like the energy ex aspect of it so what would happen after an, a massage obviously when someone comes in for a massage it's because they have certain ailments in their bodies there's a tension there's knots here and there so they come in to release that stress in the body so what i find with me the knots would get transferred to me so like if you had a knot here I have a knot here. If you have an, an like knots here, I have after the the <clears throat> the session I have knots where I took the knots out of the person. So I was like Ish, hi, uh, uh. and which ended which resulted in me being like super drained and quite sick. And then with that, because I started in introducing aromatherapy and I wanted to like grant the full experience like not only physical healing but i was also focusing on the mental healing and i i don't know it's just like out of the blue i just started thinking like that and obviously you know this that soft um music that plays and this aromatherapy and funny enough i would pray like i would pray because i would feel like i'm stepping into a healing zone like I'm, I'm going to be touching someone and I'll, I I need to heal that person so it started becoming more spiritual for me and then after I viewed it like that it then um, was like it's not it's not only the transfer of knots but it's, it's also like an energy thing now I'm also trying, like kind of taking people's energies as well so I was I started questioning then if <laughs> it's really worth it for me to offer massages. And then after that realization, I was like, hey, I'm only going to do them with people that I feel I resonate with their energy. Like, because, you, you know, you never know with people like I'm Christian and maybe you're touching like Kumuntu that goes to a, a church of Satan. <laughs> Okay, it's not fun, you know, but it is fun, uh, you it's fun how I'm gonna laugh, you know. Thing is, you know, when you, <laughs> like, I'm, I'm always scared of being held accountable for what I say, but I'm just, ma like, making such an example. And as, as funny as it may sound, there's a huge possibility that such things happen and you touch those people and your and the energy gets transferred to you so in that the time i went in for a massage like as i was talking with my therapist ne, she shared to me so that was a thai it was a thai massage spa thai spa massage so she was like to me so because obviously we, we do chat like you you do chat with your therapist like probably like the entire day and people that come in for massages also i think it's people that also feel like they want to offload you know and they 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 want to share stuff but they don't trust everyone you, you know that feeling where you don't trust anyone around you and you just meet a stranger and you know that this person probably won't like stab you in the back or turn on you like that so you would share with that person like that and we spoke on the energy aspect and she said to me you know what her boss does obviously her boss are thai like from thailand <laughs> a thai so she said to me that actually her boss insists that after a massage they do cleanse unfortunately i didn't ask what kind of cleansing um method or ceremony if it's a ceremony that they do but she just said to me that the their boss insisted on them um cleansing the aura and because of this transfer of energies and aura thing so this is actually a real thing so if you are going into the space and if you're someone maybe that's spiritual or something like that then this is something to consider ne? so yeah that's one of the reasons like i ain't trying to be carrying some wrong energies i'm too young for that like i'm too young for that